Can Case Keenum do it again? The Texans need a miracle to happen to beat this Browns defense this weekend. Guys, welcome to Off the Great Iron, your Apollo HOU Houston Texans podcast. My name is Noah Outlaw. I am your host, as always. And, as always, I'm here with Garrett Harrelson. You're not always here, by the way. I'm not always in this room. Yeah, no, I'm, usually, I'm always looking I'm at always a TV screen. I'm always on this program. I'm yeah. always on the program. Yeah. But I'm, I'm right now we're in the same room. Yes. Merry it's Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Yeah. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. Or coming yeah, or, up. It's not or, quite Christmas yet, but Santa's gearing up. Happy yeah. holidays. Yeah. Uh, we're getting a nice little treat on yeah. Sunday with a Texans game. It's always fun when a Texans game like happens on like on Christmas Eve. You know? Yeah. It's, it's like, like it's a yee. Yeah, yeah. It's like the day. Yeah. It's like yeah. I'm opening up a present. Mm -hmm. This is my early present, and hopefully it could be yeah. a nice little yeah. nice extra like a present that goes a long way. Yeah. One of those like. A present you're going to use every day. Yeah. You know, yeah, that, yeah. I think those, those are the best kind of presents. Yeah. Is like a present that you're going to, like, I will literally be using this all the time. Yeah, like, uh, last year I got a speaker. Oh, yeah. I just use it on my time. desk all the yeah. time. It's a great gift. Yeah. If we get this win. That was like how I was with, like, Guitar Hero 3, like, every day I was playing. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah same thing. Yeah. 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 Great, 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 great game. But <laughs> I got off track. But yeah. Texans win. We're going to be thinking about mm -hmm. that win for a long time. Yeah. We I hope. Well, I hope I hope you know Santa comes around with his sack of toys, and I hope Case Keenum drops his sack on the Browns. That that That's would good. be a great, That's good. great gift for me. That's really good. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, but you know, obviously, obviously, you know, Texans play the Browns Christmas Eve. Uh, elephant in the room: C.J. Stroud is still is confirmed out. I'll pull up the injury report here. Yeah, in a few. We got a we got a few guys still out and ailing from injuries. A few guys back though. A uh, yes. few guys are back. Uh, huge. So here's the injury report. We'll break this down right now. Uh, Will Anderson Jr. is out with that high ankle sprain. Um, Blake Cashman is out with a hamstring. And CJ Stroud is still in concussion protocol. Um, really sucks for, for CJ. Sucks. Um, it sucks for CJ. It sucks for football, too, because, I mean, Everyone would. Everyone wants C.J. Stroud to do well. Yeah, everyone's he, a C.J. Stroud fan. Everyone, everyone loves C.J. Stroud. I, yeah. There's not a single person on this planet who doesn't like C.J. Stroud. Maybe, if you maybe do, Jags and Colts fans. You know, like even then, I think they're like, "Fucking guy, I love yeah. that guy. I wish he's yeah. on our team." Yeah. You know, Titans almost got him. Yeah. They would. Have, they would be in love with him right now. Mm -hmm. um, it yeah. sucks for football that he's not playing on a in a pivotal game like this. Uh, it's just I, I hate injuries so much. You know, because yeah. it's it's goddamn shame. But, you know, Case has done it before. That's yeah. why he's starting. You know, we, 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 talk, we talk about this. In 2014, we hosted the 9-5, and five, or maybe the 9-6. and six. It was nine, something like that. They nine were 9-5. Nine they were the 9-5 and five Baltimore Ravens. Yep. Case Keenum started. And we got the win. Yeah, Case and we Keenum, kept like, our playoff hopes alive. Actually, wild, it, it, like really weird coincidence. Yeah, it's, really weird. it's like very similar. Case Keenum... Quarterback goes down. That year was Ryan Fitzpatrick. Case Keenum comes in, takes over against a Joe Flacco-led 9-5 and five team, the Ravens. And then kind of playoff hopes were trying to – it was like a kind of playoff thing, trying to burst their playoff bubble a little bit. And Case came in and did this did, the, did what he's doing this week 10 years ago and got the win, yeah. like you mentioned. So it, uh, hopefully history, history repeats itself. Hopefully. Um, and, I mean, those three guys are out. But, honestly, everything else, uh, the rest of it is – the rest of the injury reports looking all right. Malik Collins is questionable uh, to play. Nico Collins is questionable, but they've both practiced all week. And Denzel Perryman also is questionable, but he practiced all week as well. And Noah Brown's going to play. George Fant's playing. Brevin Jordan, Shaq Mason, John Mechie, Stephen Nelson, Larry Tunsil, Jimmy Ward are all available. So you hear that list. I mean, there's some big names that are ready to go. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, my the biggest one is probably like having Nico Collins back. Yeah, because we, we we need to get as much help on the uh, offensive yeah. side as much as possible. Yeah, because we are talk we talk about it. We've been talking about it all year long. Mm -hmm. Browns defense is insane. It's nutty. They keep yeah. them in games. They win them games. Yeah, they they're good. And now they're Joe Flacco. They're kind of just having Joe Flacco kind of carry like a small load while they carry most of the load. That's all they need. Yeah. They just need a quarterback to game manage, carry yeah. a small load, you know, don't make mistakes, which he did make a few mistakes against the Bears. He threw three picks. Yeah. And that's going to kind of like going to get into uh, keys, you know, keys to win the game, you know, like yeah. key to victory. Got to force turnovers. Yeah. And also you got to get the run game going. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, here's the deal. The defense is what I'm going to be focused on. Look, we know what this offense is going to be. There's no, nothing against Case. You know, obviously I love Case. 
But we know we saw last week it was a uh, Kaimi Fairbairn, you know, get, get into field goal position, get three points on the board, uh, kill like death by a thousand paper cuts kind yeah. of a thing. Um, and I think we the offensive game plan ideally get in the end zone, but it's not always as easy as it sounds. Get into field goal range, get points on the board consistently, and let the defense come out on the field and do let them do what they do. <laughs> Force those turnovers. Like you said, Joe Flacco had the three picks. I need Sting. I need Jimmy Ward. I need Petrie. I need everyone. I need everyone ball hawking, swarming as they do. Um, and I, I really think our offense, our, our defense, and the talent we have, and then also D'Amico Ryan's just being the kind of coach he is. I mean, I think I think it's going to be a really hard day at the office for Joe Flacco and everyone on that offense. Um, David Njoku is someone to keep an eye on. I mean, he's been – a dog lately. They've been they've been figuring him out. Yeah. They've been figuring well, out. Joe Flacco, Flacco has been like, I yeah. I know how to use David and Joku. He and loves the Browns tight are end. like perfect, great. Can you do that yeah. for us? Because he is a weapon. He is. He is a weapon on that offense. I love David and Joku. I've always liked him. Yeah, he's um, a big Njoku guy. Yeah, he's yeah, I've always liked him. And then he's just a dog. I mean, he's been playing well. Remember early he do remember he got his face fucking burned off earlier yeah. this year? Like he just kind of does wild shit all the time. Yeah, he was like wearing a scary mask. Yeah. And like, yeah, it was like, whoa. Can you imagine if like our tight end did that? That yeah, or we'd be lo- we'd be loving that. If Dalton Schultz was a burn victim, that would suck. I mean, that would be that does suck. Yeah, it would be not really saying bad. burn victims being yeah. a firm burn victim is awesome. Just yeah. saying like, but it would be like leaning into shit. it, wearing the mask, yeah. and just yeah. having a good year. No, it was rad. What yeah, having mean? a good year in fantasy and all that yeah. after that. Like, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's fucking sick. But yeah. he is a weapon. Um, mm-hmm. That's going to be he's the X factor for them, I think, yeah. on the offensive side. I think so too. Because we we've struggled before in the short passing game. Especially against guys like David Njoku, who could create mismatches on the field. Yeah. So we're just gonna have to, you know, lock in on him and figure in him out, figure him out. And I think we have a good chance of doing a lot of damage on the defensive side. Yeah. Especially after the Titans game, where it just seemed like Will Levis literally could not do anything every yeah. time he got the ball. Yeah. I mean, every team in the second half, every time he got the ball, they were swarming him. It was yeah. incredible. It was an incredible performance from the up defensive line. It was amazing. If we can replicate it, that any of that. Then yeah. I like our I like our odds. I mean, if we can get seven fucking sacks again, I think. I mean, this game's gonna be in the <clears> bag. <throat> I mean, Jonathan Grenard, uh, two and a half sacks. I'm looking at him, kind of lead the charge with Will Anderson out. Um, definitely lead the charge. Millie Collins. Hopefully, we can see him out there. Uh, and like these other guys, like Khalil Davis and Derek Barnett. Like these dudes are available and playing well like after last week i know the titans are the titans and the browns are a different beast i mean they're just a really they're a well-coached good fundamental football team even though like that offense obviously the quarterback is the main issue uh, even though joe is like i like joe i i'm 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 but i just think he's he's old and he's gonna get his ass beat this game uh, ideally yeah. and i think that's the key i think just just keep them from fucking scoring points just enough to if we can hold them to seven to ten points, like I don't care if we just score thirteen points, like I, whatever it is, yeah. uh, just get out there twelve points, like. Uh, but just get out there, kick the field goals. I don't care, just get it done and outscore them. Obviously, but 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 the defense just needs to make sure Joe Flacco's not throwing for fucking three hundred eighty yards and that would be two touchdowns. Yeah, that would be that would, that that would, would mean really we lose. Bad. I think. But like I said, I like our odds on the defensive side. You'd like our odds on the defensive side. Yeah. The biggest issue and question mark will be offense, offensive put out. Yeah. There are times against the Titans we could not move the ball in pivotal moments, and yeah. it was like, fuck. I mean, especially the, Titans, like the beginning of that game. Yeah, but the Titans defense is nowhere near as good as the Browns no. defense. They no. have playmakers, like, yeah, all through and through. Mm-hmm. They are they are big. They are mean. They they score points. The defense scores points. Like. Pick sixes, fumble recoveries, yeah. all that. So that's going to be the biggest question mark, obviously. But hey, Case Keenum, meet your two new best friends, Dalton Schultz and Devin Singletary. Yeah, we need I to mean, get those guys going. Yeah, I mean Devin Singletary, I think is definitely the X factor for this game. He's he's hot. I mean he's playing so well. Uh, what, 170 all-purpose yards last week. Yeah, um, 26 carries. Like we're gonna rely on him a lot. Um, I mean he's the best defense in the NFL. This is the best defense in the NFL. Um, Miles Garrett is going. <sighs> to be annoying. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna be really fucking annoying. I he, mean, that's kind of all I can say about. Yeah, that. He's, just, he's 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 a problem. He's yeah. gonna be a problem. He, Which is we, nice to have George Fant back. Yeah. Um, even though it's like I mean, George Fant is a good, good player. Miles Garrett is a kind of player. I don't care who you put. Uh, you have Laramie Tunsil or George Fant. They're probably gonna line him up over there against George. Um, but it's good to have at least someone out there who. 
no one's gonna be able to stop Miles Garrett, but George Fant's a guy who I trust to he can he can tone him down a tad. You know what I mean? So excited to have him back. Um, just stop Miles Garrett somehow. Try to move the ball down the field. I don't care if it's with Devin Singletary, Damian Pierce. I don't give a fuck who. You know, just just pound the rock mainly. Case can do his thing every now and then, but obviously I'm not. I don't want to rely on Case's arm to win this game. I want to rely on our running backs. I want to rely on Dalton Schultz. Yeah, gotta gotta rely on uh, the fund like fundamentals yeah. and complimentary football, yeah. like the run game. I know we on this show we're sometimes so critical of them trying to force the run game. Gonna have to try to force it. Yeah, this week. gotta fine. have to try to force it. Yeah. And but if it's not working, gotta have to just let Case fucking sling that thing mm-hmm. and. Yeah. It could be good. It could be bad. I mean, we just let him do it. Yeah, let him do it. Gonna have to do it because this is balls to the wall. We lose this game, we're probably yeah. gonna miss the playoffs. What yeah. was that? There was a big time playoff implications. If the Texans win this game, they have a seventy five percent chance of making the playoffs. If the Texans lose this game, we have a thirty four percent chance of making the playoffs. So obviously, drastic Huge drop change right now. We're sitting at about fifty five percent chance to make the playoffs. Um, and, you know, so obviously this game has huge playoff implications for the entire AFC. I mean, as implications for the Brown, uh, the Browns are a team that look like they're going to get in. Um, the Bills are going to get in. And it's just there's a lot of teams that are eight and six right now. And we'd love to be nine and six up on the upper side of that. Obviously, you know, new yeah. splash, they want to win. But it's right now in this current playoff race in the AFC, it's extremely important. Extremely important. And I mean, Cook something up, be creative, and you know what? Like, if we don't win this game, it's going to look like wow, if I can, you know, probably gonna miss the playoffs. Yeah. You know, it's undeniable. Our chances are drastically worse if we win lose this game. But we'll always have to remember, fun fun season, fun season. Yeah, this is a great great season, great first season in this mm-hmm. new era. Um. Like a, it's just we have to hold on to that, and yeah. it's not it's not that bad. You yeah, know? it's not bad. But what drives me crazy is if we do end up losing this game, and then if we miss the playoffs, what's gonna annoy me for the rest of my life is that the rest of your life. <laughs> yes. Oh, if, if if CJ Stroud didn't get concussed and was able to was available for these games down the stretch. How would that change things? I mean, obviously that concussion if, is sucks. If CJ plays, if CJ plays, we're winning. Yeah. If we play, if he were to play this game, we would win. Yeah. Because I just don't, I don't think CJ would allow us to lose. He would be like, yeah. we're not fucking losing. Mm-hmm. Not on my watch, dude. No. He's my hero. He's yeah. my sweet baby angel. He is. He is. The, he is the one that keeps me up and going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's you, CJ. I mm-hmm. hope you're hearing this. That's, that's Love big, you. Get yeah. well soon. But, um. Yeah, it is. It, that is annoying. Injuries suck, and also you, the, every injury we've had. You know, I would be like, man, can you imagine if all season long we had been healthy, with if Tank Dell was still playing, yeah. if Titus Howard was still playing, Tavier Thomas was still playing, yeah. Will Anderson, if Derek Stingley were able to play games, the you know, missed, like yeah. yeah, dude, our, our team. This is a sound and solid team. Yeah, it is. Well, sound also, and I mean, solid I, I love the next man up mentality. I love the the way that we've persevered all season through that. Like even with Tank Dell out and Noah Brown just really been the man. I mean, Noah yep. Brown is um, even when Tank Dell was playing, he was having huge games. And now Noah Brown last week was a big part of that win. I mean, he had 80 some yards, a touchdown, eight perception. Um, he's, he's someone I'm looking at too. And I, I like our wide receiving core. I, I mean, I like the guys, the options that case has with Noah Brown out there, Nico Collins out there, Dalton Schultz out there, Mechie every now and then, Hutch every now and then. Robert Woods. Robert Woods Robert, is still a Robert, seasoned guy who yeah. can have a few catches, big time catches. Mm-hmm. You know, Robert Woods is a dude, and and you know it'll be it'll work. I I think Case can pull this off. Case can pull this off. Um, but another thing is, I think Slowick is really going to have to be creative with his play calling. We've talked about this a little bit, like some trickery, some some wildcat, some some Devin Singletary, maybe. Throwing the ball, you have a prediction for the game, you know? Oh, uh, yes. My prediction is I would bet you of all the money I've ever seen in my life that Devin Singletary throws throws a touchdown on yeah. Sunday against the Browns. So it's who's going to happen. It? I know. Dalton Schultz. I know. Yeah. Oh, Dalton yeah. Schultz is catching it. They're yeah. gonna, they did it against the Steelers. Yeah. did it against the Steelers. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm saying this because – Back in that game that we're talking about in 2014, Case Keenum versus the Joe Flacco Ravens, 
Arian Foster threw a touchdown to CJ Fedorowicz, I believe. Yeah, he did. I believe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Arian threw one and he was they were lining him up in Wildcat, yeah. getting creative because it was like, hey, you know what? Maybe we won't make the playoffs, but we have to fucking do anything, do everything yeah. we can to try. Yeah. So Absolutely. fuck it. Balls to the wall, try it. See what sticks, you know? Yeah. And I think Devin Singletary is going to be getting a lot of creative plays thrown his way. Wildcat also throwing. I think if there's a goal line situation, he will throw a touchdown. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Um, I'm, I'm I'm stressed. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, this is a good Browns team. This is a, they don't have a, they don't have QB one or two or three. I mean, it's, you know, they don't have, you know, cause it's gone through, obviously it was number four and then it was, uh, PJ Walker, Houston legend, PJ Walker. Shout out. And it was, uh, Dorian Thompson, uh, Robinson. Yeah. Um, DCR for short. And now we're then now they're sitting at Joe Flacco and Joe Flacco's kind of given this team life uh, a little bit. I mean, obviously their defense can power through, but Flacco has been able to kind of do his thing. Almost look like a little vintage Flacco a little bit. He still could fucking throw that he, shit out he of the ball. Can. Dude. He can sling that I mean, he's always had like a crazy arm. Yeah. He just still has such a strong arm. Yeah. Did you see what he said the other day? He was like sitting there and he was like, I don't even know if I've gotten a paycheck from the Browns yet. I'm just happy to be playing. Dang, really? Yeah, he's like, fuck, I'm vibing, dude. Yeah, so, and of like, course. He's like, yeah, I'm, I mean, he's not worried about money. Yeah, he's, but he's like, fucking, I don't even know. They might have paid me, but yeah, like, he's like, well, 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 he, like he was very much like, we'll get to that. But yeah, well, when you're when you're Joe Flacco, Rich, too, it's like, yeah, you're you're not you're not pocket watching. You're, no, you're, you know, it's you're fine. just happy to be. Yeah, here. you happy know, you're be, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's happy to be here on a nine and five team with good chance to win a playoff game too. Yeah, I mean, if one thing about Joe Flacco is he was pretty solid always in the regular season. I'm like, you're a solid quarterback. You get him in the postseason. Yeah. He's a fucking beast. Yeah. He's a fucking, he's in the zone, Chief. Yeah, there's something I mean, different about uh, playoff lack of. Dude, he was money in the yeah. postseason. That yeah. run that he had in the Super Bowl, shit. He just would not, he was fucking playmaker. He would never make a mistake. He didn't throw a pick. I think no. he had like 12 touchdowns, at like zero picks in, in the playoffs. <laughs> that's so crazy. That's <laughs> like, dude, that's like a successful, like, for, like few games in the NFL. That's like a good he season fucking, for fellas. I yeah, mean, dude. Like, like, yeah, like if you don't, yeah, if you throw 12 touchdowns, zero picks in the regular season as a quarterback, you're like, shit, that's nice. Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco. Yeah, so, dude. I mean, he, it, we are going to have our hands full. We're going to have our hands full for sure. Um, we just need good, good. We need good vibes. Yeah. Good with the guys to be motivated, and we need Bobby Slowick to come through with a creative game plan. Because at first I didn't like their game plan against the Titans I, yeah. at first, but they kind of shaped it to where like yeah. Devin Singletary became like the workhorse of the game, and it worked out wonders. If you could just do something like that again against yeah. the Browns, I like our chances. Um, so I mean, obviously this game's in Houston, which is nice. Uh, works for our favor a little bit. Cleveland is a three-point favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, that's changed throughout the week and even the season. Yeah. Since and since CJ has been officially declared out, it jumped. Yeah. I think it was like uh, we were favored, and then we were. It was kind of almost a pick 'em, and then it shifted to oh, Vegas was giving wiggle room for the fact that Stroud might play. Yeah, and and now that it's confirmed he's not, um, it's looking like yeah the Browns are three-point favorites. Um, but I mean. This is a huge matchup. Nine and five versus an eight and six team. Even without yep. CJ, it's still a good matchup. Um, I'm scared. Final score prediction? Yeah. You know what it is? What's yours? You go first, bro. Oh, shit. I didn't think about it. Wow. <laughs> uh, you should think about no, that. I'll, I'll say, I'll say um, my final score prediction 13 to 10, Texans. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. At first, uh, at when we beat the Titans, I was like, if Case plays next week against the Browns, we're going to get cooked. Yeah. I said that. Yeah, you did say that. Then throughout the week, I was like, you know what? No, maybe, maybe we won't get cooked. Maybe we won't get cooked. Maybe there's a chance. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's a chance. And I like said the Titans were going to beat us. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. Yeah. I was very wrong. You were wrong too. Yeah. I love being wrong about that sometimes. Yeah, I do. That was the best, best way to be wrong. I'm not going to fucking. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be serious anymore. I want to be a silly goose. Texans are gonna win this game, dude. They're gonna fucking win. By how much? Final score. Twenty-four. Whoa! Who the fuck's doing that? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Watch, dude. 
24 to 15. 24 to 15. What a fucking stupid score, honestly. It's not stupid. That it's not stupid, a, bro. How the fuck do you get there? Uh, well, they they fucking touch they touch down at the end and two point, and they try to kick they try to fucking mm. kick it on side. Yeah. All right, maybe not twenty four. I'll say nineteen to fifteen. Okay. Nineteen to fifteen. I think Texas. It's gonna be a low scoring affair. I think it's definitely gonna be a defensive game. I mean, I, I think I think we kind of come out punching. Yeah. Kind of come out punching. Yeah. And then Joe Flacco kind of at the end of the game is like making this close. He's making it a game. Yeah. They go they they score once. They score again at the end. Go for two. Get the two point. Time to kick an onside. We get the onside. Victory formation. Case Keenum's losing his mind. Yeah. CJ is on maybe on the fucking sideline. Like uh, hopefully, yeah. maybe if he's not there, then we we're, we're talking about maybe he's missing the next week too, which would be fucked up. Yeah, but it would be really fucked up. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but nineteen to fifteen, Houston Texans keeping the playoff hopes alive, baby. I'm like keeping it. the hopes alive. You're keeping like the vibes are vibing, dude. Yep. And that would be a nice Christmas miracle if we went nine and six with Case Keenum. The uh, look, Houston. This is a this is a big game. Texans fans, if you're in Houston, the cheapest ticket is thirty one dollars. You can Have hey man, Christmas go Eve. spend your Christmas Eve at the Texans game. Take the fam. Go be loud. Be proud. Be excited. I know CJ Stroud's not playing. I know it's Case, but Case has done more than enough for the city of Houston to earn your support. So let's go. There's and there's be a there. number of there's, and if you're not gonna go to a game. There's a number of things you can do. One thing you can do is you can enjoy a bottle of Zing Zang Bloody Mary pre-made with vodka mm. already. And if you're a fucking picky son of a bitch, then you can put your own vodka with the mix. So uh, <laughs> Zang responsibly, 21 and over. Mm. So thank you, Zing Zang. And Christmas, it, it's Christmas. It's happy holidays. Merry Christmas. If you're looking for things to get someone, stocking stuffers perhaps, Boom, right there. Yep. Mike Tyson, uh, legal tender trading coin. Yep. Boom. Ric Flair as well. Yep. Uh, Celebrity Mint. Go check them out. They have great yep. memorabilia. Signed, autographed shit out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. Any Cool for any sports fan. Who wouldn't want a signed Mike Tyson glove? Of course. That's badass. Yeah. And if you're really looking for the game day experience but you can't be at the game, go to Big City Wings. Mm. Big City Wings, Houston's wing joint, Apollo's wing joint. Great beer. Great food, great service, great vibes. So uh, them, thank yeah. you, Big City Wings. Thank you, Celebrity mm -hmm. Mint. And thank you, Zing Zang, for powering this episode of Off the Gridiron. Yeah. Thank you so much to the sponsors. It means a lot. Um, you know what else means a lot? When you like and subscribe. It lets us know that you like what we're doing. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel for all your Houston sports-related content uh, and beyond. I mean, we do shows about the entire NBA. We do shows about the entire NFL, uh, play action tag, zero gravity, um, all kinds of stuff. Lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, we sure did. Yes. We're excited. We're pumped. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Apollo H O U and on and on Twitter at Apollo Texans to keep up with everything Houston Texans related. Um, yeah. And other than that, I'm pumped. I'm, I'm pumped. scared. I'm pumped. I'm nervous. But it's Christmas, so I'm excited. Yeah. I'm Merry excited Christmas. For Santa. Happy holidays. Uh, whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Be safe. Spend time with people Back you love. Bag, yeah. And other than that, Touch. thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Watch, watch Texans, watch football. Happy holidays.